Hey, what's up? Non-perishable goods in the building. We here, in the we house. Here. You know what I'm saying? Here, check what this out. Is? So, so tell me, tell me <laughs> what happened. Okay, so oh my gosh. So, so Kamara Lee, you know, we all know who Kamara Lee is, right? The Blasian who dated Russell, Russell Simmons, yep. Jamon. He had wait, yeah, he, he had she had two kids with uh Russell. I don't think she did he. Does she have, did he have kids? Does she have kids with the Jamon? new guy? No, the the Jamon. Oh, but now her husband is a white dude, right? Right. Yeah, and he's like he used to be this like, uh, what's the sax thing? Like, he, uh, what's the Fortune five hundred sax? Whatever, Golden Sax, Goldman, oh. Goldman and Sax, dude. Okay, he okay. used to be right. But now he's in jail for some some financial bullshit, right? Well, not bullshit, but some financial shit, right? Some illegal shit, right? Some white collar, <laughs> some white collar crime, collar crime. Shit, right? <laughs> and I was I made a I made a uh, a stink about it, and and I was saying how like you know our sisters be like wanting to date white dudes and blah blah blah, right? And like. Like they'll they'll date like they'll date us, they'll date black dudes, and then like be like, okay, it failed, it failed, it failed, right? Kind of like Serena Williams, right? Oh, it failed, it failed, it failed. Let me date a white dude. You know what I'm saying? But then like the white dude ain't ain't no different. It don't matter. You know what I mean? Like you try to go to the white rate because you thought you're gonna have, you know, I don't know, better looking kids or like a better financial, you know, up upgrade or whatever. But you know, white dudes do they cheat too. They're men, you know. They they can cheat. They can lie. It doesn't matter. Like the color. And they matter. do. Yeah. Exactly. But, but the the <laughs> reply to my comment wasn't any of that. It was because I called Kamora Lee a sister. You know what I'm saying? Because her she's blazing like me. Like she, her dad's black. Her uh, mom is Japanese. I think in the Korean or something. Mm-hmm. And black women had a problem with that. And black and black men too. Everybody in there black. Some of them were just didn't agree with that at all. And mm. I was just like, yo, like, what? Okay, like, and I, I don't want to say I got offended, but I'm like, I always consider myself black. Right. Not to say that, um, when I was younger, but not to say like, you know, I'm like this is my mom or anything. You know what I mean? It's just you know, in when I'm. It's a part of who you are. I I just say black. Now, you know, before on applications, there was nothing else. You you say black or whatever. Yeah. Now you can say black and Asian or you can put other, you know. Yeah. Or they might say multiracial or they might say biracial. Yeah, right. Or whatever. But yeah. But but now they say you could do more than one, you know. But I usually put, in the beginning, I used to, I would put other. I used to do black and now I, I do other. Not Al. Black, other, and now I do two. But I kind of felt a some type of way because I'm like, well, they're just saying they're saying if you're half black, you're not a black. You're just mixed. See, you know what I mean? Like you can't, yeah. you, we can't. We, I can't call Kamora Lee. I can't call Karuchi. I can't call Holly Berry. I can't call Kamala Harris sister. I Why have not? to because they're not full black. But see, okay, that's corny. But I've heard this. I've heard this before. And I I mean, a lot of, there's a lot of Black people who believe mixed people aren't Black people. Yeah, I found you know that out. Yeah, no, there's there's a lot. And um, I don't know, like what? Do we just start our whole own race? And we, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, if I'm going to be like, oh, I'm a uh, pro-mixed. Like what's mixed? You know what I'm saying? But but, but like but would you but you but, but would you could now that you know your newfound, you know, uh race, would you call yourself black still? Or would you call yourself mixed? Uh well, I'm still kind of like navigating through all this because like I, you know, my situation is gonna be like a lot of other black people's situation if they do the ancestry and you know, 23 and me or whatever and find out that they are mixed, you know. And that was another just, argument in there because they were like saying nobody's pure anything. 
Right. There's no, there's no one drop anything, yeah. no pure anything. Like everybody's yeah. like mixed with something. And even like dark skinned black people, if they do their ancestry, they're going to find out, yes, you're probably Nigerian or, you know, Kenyan or whatever, but you could be mixed with Jamaican. You know what I'm saying? Or another Caribbean country or whatever. You're mixed. Like everybody is mixed. Even if, okay, like a lot of those ancestry, like, um, my my cousin just got his back and he was like, Yeah, I'm all nigga, I'm I'm Nigerian and you know, and he was naming all these other African countries. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So I don't know. Like this is it's this is all very interesting to me, but I I I am black. Like I just found out that I'm half Jewish, but I have like I have no connection to Jew Jewish or any I don't know anything about Jewish so how do I start being Jewish just because I am I mean I guess now I could you know if people ask me oh are you mixed and I'll be like yeah I guess yes I am you know but I don't know like I don't identify like I also heard an argument about this is when now that we have so many mixed people um you have to ask people how they identify you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like there might be other mixed people out here who have black who don't want to claim none of their black black side. <laughs> you know? Yeah. yeah. But, but I claim black. I am black. And and like, okay, like I don't, I mean, I don't want to say, you know, compare humans to to animals, but um, you know, there's dogs or like that are mixed breeds or whatever. Um, they have but you would, own... but you would say that though. Like you would say, oh, that's a mixed terrier with a collie. Like, you know what I mean? Like people or a mutt, you know what I'm saying? Dog, <laughs> like, right. I mean, that's the that's the simple terms, but usually yeah. when when people are proud of their pets, they usually they, they make go, up a name for it, you know. Well, what I'm no, they go into like, oh, he's a mixed terrier, or oh, he's a mixed collie. Like they go into that. Yeah, like uh, I had a puggle. A puggle is a pug and beagle yeah. mix. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. There, you know, the shih tzu and a poodle is a, a you know, a yeah. the, a ship who or I can't, you know what I mean? I can't think yeah. of it right now. So for me growing up and then looking the way I looked and I had and having an afro or whatever, you know, curly hair and shit, I identified more with my blackness. So I would claim more, I would say, you know, I'm black. I'm, you know, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I would, that, there was no blazing or black and ease then or whatever. Right. Yeah. yeah. Now, as I get older and I know more about my background history or I'm more proud of it, I'm more um, aware of it. I do say Blasian now because, you know, I, I want to give respect on my mom's name. You know, you know what I'm saying? So I, I do recognize both, you know what I'm saying? But like other people were saying in the comment to their, you're black when the cops see you. Exactly. <laughs> there was one like yeah. that and I'm like, okay, but you know, I mean, there's that one chick who's an Olympic. She's playing for what China, and she's like half Chinese and white, but she looks, you know, more Chinese. It's like, did she not? You're Chinese. Recognize her white, her white side, her European side. You know you, yeah, you have to ask people how they. Like, identify. what if you look more, you know, white? You know what I'm saying? What if you look more black? Like, you you kind of identify more about what how you look sometimes okay this is like a two-part thing though because it's how people see you and how you see yourself you know like that's how mm -hmm. it i mean like the whole race thing is you know based off of your color and your look your image mm -hmm. but people don't know your upbringing people don't know your culture <clears throat> and that's why we've been talking about this on the last couple of shows is like ethnicity and culture matters like it to to really understand who a person is but then you have to also like I, that's where I think culture almost preside you know presides over everything because how were you raised what was your environment were you right. raised by your were you adopted you know like what if I was adopted by a Chinese family I wouldn't know anything about, you know, my culture. I would know about that Chinese culture. I know, but Colin Kaepernick had white adopted parents. Do you think he 
identify more with being white or because of his hair and his nose, you think he identified more with with black? Well, at first, I don't think if you watch that documentary, it seemed like he didn't really know mm. his culture. And his parents didn't even really want him, like his environment told him he was black by the way they were treating him. You mm. know what I mean? So it's like, culture like i mean society they society we are we know this society is basic you know what i'm saying so they're gonna compartmentalize you how they see you but there's so much more to us and like i don't know people just need to definitely dig deeper before you fix your lips to make a judgment or to say anything you know so you as a black person now half black person do you consider kimura lee as a sister is she you know what i mean <laughs> without knowing her or anything because <laughs> i always saw her as black i even more identified with her more because she was yeah, she is she, Asian. yeah if people knew like are these young people commenting on her because like no these are these are, i mean they're everything yeah because she it was she crazy was, it was it was on a youtube channel and it was like a whole lot of replies where I just kind of like fell back and sat back and just watched everybody attack each other. It was, it was a good conversation, but of course people got in their feelings and stuff. Yeah. Well, Kimora, she grew up in the, you know, with all the black folks, hip hop culture, you know, cause she did baby fat, right? Didn't she? Yeah. yeah she designed baby fat. Who wore baby yeah, fat? Yeah, Russell Simmons gave her baby fat. Yeah, the fuck, yeah, the fuck with That yeah. was all, that's black culture all day long. She yeah. was, she, she definitely aligned herself with black culture. Yeah, she, so my thing she, is like, so, so people like that who are immersed in black culture, like Karuchi, like Janae I, Aiko, they're going to be more predominantly touching on their black side because they're engulfed in our music and our culture, everything, right? In, in the clothes, fashion, in the slang, the swag, everything. Yeah, it's and the when culture. they go to the other side, like it's like, you know, we weren't good enough. Now they're going to try to date a white dude. And that's where it all stemmed from, you know what I mean? And, but, and that's what you're calling her, me accepting her in the Black community. Because she did a lot of things in the Black community. She gave us clothes. She she dated a black man. She had black babies. Right. I mean, okay, as far as like, I mean, I guess they don't see her as a black woman. No, they don't. Yeah, they don't see her like a... Uh, but Kimora like Lee... A, a Fantasia. Yeah, Kimora Lee, her, she was black, right? Or she is black. She is she, black, right? I just said she was black in Japanese, Korean. Oh, sorry, sorry. I didn't hear that part. Um, yeah, so yeah that's like me like like what like that's how I, that's why i kind of felt some kind of way even though i respect everybody's opinion you know if you don't consider me black and you consider me just mixed i mean that's cool i i mean that's true that is true I but if mixed. You're, you're mixed with black <laughs> that's the thing that yeah but they were, we're saying we're so then we're saying okay well then black you know chromosomes are more stronger than any other you know recessive with a chromosome you know anything if if it's a black man or a black woman who has a uh, who babies with a you know white man or or white or yellow or red or whatever, our genes are going to be more predominant. I don't know. I have to look into that more. But I heard that it's based on a lot of it comes down to the mom. You know what I'm saying? Like the mom you is gets like has dominant traits and features come through the mom. Because I was, because I'll, yeah, like I'll say, like, like Chesley Christ, like her mom is black and her dad is white. She looks black. Any, you know, Lenny Kravis's mom was black and dad was white. Lenny looks black. That's true. Yeah, no, he looks black. I didn't even know he was so, black. Yeah, so all these people, you know, Lisa Bonet, same thing. Like all these people who are mixed with black anything look black. Yeah, I would, well, not necessarily. Not necessarily because I know several mixed black and white children and they don't look black and white. Sometimes I wonder, I'm like, are you like Mexican? Are you Puerto Rican? Are you like, what are you? You know what I'm saying? But they look ethnic though. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So then 
Yeah, because I I mean I could pass for Filipino if I yeah wanted <laughs> you know yeah. so my sister can or pass for even, Mexican or Dominican. Yeah, or hit. even Cambodian or like <laughs> okay, I'll like, take <laughs> I'll take, yeah, yeah, I'll take that. Yeah, yeah. for real. Like right. you, yeah. definitely to, to <laughs> me. But um, <laughs> but okay, okay. And so another thing about the sister thing, like I know you were just you know saying sister or whatever, but like even in well, because um, it's a black culture thing. But yeah, but it's also a spiritual thing. Because, like, with Christianity, when you go to church, you call each other brother and sister. I know, but I, I put the A on it, though. So I was, I was, I was purposely saying sister, that because, yeah, because she's she, dating a white dude. So I was just like, I, I, I was accepting Kimura into the Black culture. I was, I was uh, you know, joining her in, into the Black culture and her dating a white dude after dating two Black dudes. Just like other sisters be doing sometimes, like Serena. Right, Wally. but what's wrong with that? And like, why? Well, you... I was what, I, what when I brought, when I was saying because of the channel, I don't want you know, whatever the channel was saying, I was agreeing with it. Like a lot of sisters will date black and then try to go to white because they think white is right, but it's not. It's just it's a, no. I think it's people a, it's just content of character, not co of color. Right. Well, you know, every woman, a lot of women are different in their decisions of why they date other races or whatever. Uh, I do know for Black women, it's really hard um, for us to cross over and date outside of our race. Um, but it's happening. <laughs> it's happening a lot. I and I did notice it in LA. When I moved to LA, I saw so many Black women with white men. I think it's easier. I my okay. I have a theory about that. And I know, and up here in Northern California, I would see a lot of black men with white women. My my theory with Los Angeles is this because I also see a lot of white dudes just dating every everything. Yeah, white men date everything. Yeah, the white dudes date white people date white dudes date everything, mm -hmm. and um, I think it's because. I think white dudes are just more open. They don't have their own culture. So they'll adopt yours or they'll be fine with yours, like whatever. Like if you want to jump the broom, you want to smash glass in the in the in the napkin, or you know, you want to do whatever, like they'll down, they're down with it. You know what I mean? Unless they're Jewish, you know what I'm saying? They don't have no religion or culture that they follow through or anything except unless it's like christianity like hardcore like justin bieber or some shit you know what i mean mm -hmm. but other yeah. than that like they they don't they respect everybody's culture you know what i'm saying they come to la they're probably a transplant from kansas or wyoming or whatever they get fascinated by all these cultures you got mexican you know every kind of latina is here every kind of black is here you got you got you know uh international people you know jamaican cambodian you know, filipino it's like you get they get overwhelmed and then you know plus they, they they're white and people feel more comfortable with white you know unfortunately and wait just, wait wait what say it again <laughs> i'm just like oh yeah wait people, people feel more comfortable people feel with white? more comfortable with white because they're more open they're, you know, I, what I mean, like, like, I think, I think black people and Mexican and not Mexican, but Latinas, especially, they have this, they, they have this kind of like self hate with our, with us, like with the men that then, you know, that like the, the masculinity, the misogyny, you know, the, the, the cheating, you know, all the stereotypes that we are, right? Like, they don't see that in the white dudes. And then the white dudes listen, they, you know, they might, by people black uh, women or, or Latino uh, women might listen to country or whatever. You know, niggas ain't listening to that. You know what I'm saying? Like they, they're more open, their, broad, mind, their minds are more broadened. So it's like they can be weird. They can do, you know, awkward black girl stuff or awkward Latino girl stuff, whatever. And, and the white dude will accept it. You know what I'm saying? They listen to everything. They're open. That's, that's a big thing, like to be open to every kind of thing because a lot of, uh, uh, ethnic groups are now just listen, you know just not just listening to their own music or watching their own tv shows yeah but then when he takes you to his family and they're all racist and mean and <laughs> to you 
then that's when it's a wake up call and it's like oops this doesn't work i mean you say that but then what, there's a lot of couples black and white couples still stay together right yeah yeah no they do but that's it's it goes deeper than just but they that, don't see that, that man be yes they do just because mm. that one that man is open mm. or whatever he that man they got none that that man's family had nothing to do with those two people Yes, it does. It if if you're if you're family oriented, it does. If you're family oriented, it matters if you get along with his family, and you, it matters if he gets along with your family. Sure. I, and and like, but that's not. I, every I don't. I don't even want to. What did you say? That's not every black and white couple, though. True. And even but, and even if it is, that shouldn't get in the way of that love. If it's hopefully it's love and not like a fetish right you know yeah that's, that too. that's yeah, <laughs> yeah that's, that's another that's issue exactly and that's been i mean white men have wanted black women from the beginning of time but let's not just make this like a black and white thing because um i know a lot of asian women who date white men um yeah for the same so for the same reason but i think and then i mean there's a lot of mexican well a lot of you know i i just think certain races like people of color whether you're indian arab black mexican like it's almost kind of like you're supposed to date within your race and if you don't then that's just like taboo and just like oh my gosh you know um so it's a little bit harder or i mean it's just not as it wasn't as common but now people are definitely doing it and been doing it since yeah well, what year are we in 2020? I feel like the interracial 20, dating 22. or whatever, you know, they use interracial dating, like that was the big term back in the day. Um, that started in like the, what, the late it, 90s, I feel like, oh. <laughs> where it was very open, you know? I think it was more talked about and more open, but um i don't think i don't know like at this point at my age i mean i'm just open to finding a good person and like finding love but i'm once again i'm a different different yeah. <laughs> different type i think of i i really do think especially in in hollywood like a lot of people a lot of ethnic people pro purposely maybe subconsciously look for the other because they don't they don't trust their own culture like i see like you know Ava mendez sama hayek serena williams again you know what's her name jordan taylor uh you know they they all date like white dudes or are with white dudes having you know the babies you know what i'm saying like getting married to mm. white dudes not not mexican oh not dang Latina, another black. one cassie cassie and cassie, Alex Fine. yeah like yeah that's true so it's like what it what is what is it that we are doing or not doing and lacking that they that they're we're losing you know our latinas our asians our our black women you know what i mean like to to white dudes i don't know maybe it's just how it is because like that's what this conversation was for black women a long time ago like black men still i mean hello if a black man doesn't want a black woman what is our option you gotta they, date everything others. else yeah yeah so think about it think about it it's kind of evolved into this because back in the day that's all you heard about was you know black men marrying dating white women or black or, yeah white women and a lot of my friends white women friends are married to black men mm -hmm. you know so i think when your race doesn't want you and another man is highly in in love with you and sees your amazing qualities look at kamala harris she's married to a white man mm -hmm. he you could tell he loves her you know and <laughs> can't tell you vice versa though 
<laughs> well, she did. She married him. And I don't know if they had kids. Mean? Do they have kids? I don't think so. Oh, but I mean, she married him. She's happy with him. He's the second gentleman. Oh, wait. It could, it could, be, a, it could be a look, you know? What you look? <laughs> what, you mean, what, not... what you mean, what look? Him? You know what I'm the... talking about? What? Wait, say it again? To get, to get into businesses and stuff, you know what I'm saying? It look it it might look better for her to have a white dude than a black dude for her to you know to deal I, with business people you know uh to to get I up in doubt and if she, yeah i don't know that's possible in some cases but i don't know i just think love is blind and it'll catch you it doesn't matter what the race is but i yeah. definitely think um i think after you have had bad relationships with a certain type of person I won't even say color but once you've dated a certain specific type of person something new something fresh it, it's gonna touch you differently possibly yeah it's like uh what's her name from scandal what's her name the black shirt she's beautiful oh uh Carrie Washington she she was married to a white dude uh, just like Russell Russell Wilson was married to a white woman, and Tate Diggs was married to a white woman, divorced. Now Tate and now Diggs he's with yeah with April Marion's, and then uh, and Marion's friend. All right, all right. <laughs> and then Kerry Washington married a black dude. You know, so I mean, I think if when it's love, okay. Here's my thing: when it's, it's it doesn't, yeah, like it when it's love, back. when it's love. I don't have a problem with it. I don't care who, you know, it, obviously I don't, it, my opinion doesn't matter, but um, it, just for me personally, I, it, it, I don't care. When it's a fetish and you purposely look for the other, that's when and, I have a, that's when I, get a, I have a problem with it. And people and are surface like that, yes. And people I, do that. Yes. A lot of people, black men, white men, black women, Asian, it don't matter. People do that, you know what I'm saying? And that's fine. It, it, that, that's just the way you but that's the way you are but that's not a healthy start for a relationship because you like somebody because of their hair texture or their skin color that's not going to be a healthy right but we've we've talked about this in the past that you should not choose your mate based off of their image and that's just another reason why because you're gonna something i mean that it's just surface it's just the surface uh criteria <laughs> that has very very uh terrible consequences possibly you know like it's a it'll it could be a rude awakening well I'm, and, that, and that's why that, people come back well that part i'm shallow one because i do base my relationships on surface i don't want to date somebody ugly Right. I don't want to, I want to date somebody who I'm attracted to, you know what I'm saying? Right, but attraction is different than looks. Attraction isn't just looks. It could be chemistry. No, I need, I need, I need looks. <laughs> no. But looks fade. <laughs> okay, so what happens when that person is 80 years old? Yeah, and I'm 80, I'm 80 or 90 years old. Yeah, and too late. Don't matter by then, right? Yeah, but see, I, mean, I was I had just go ahead. How many women have I dated to where like they were all hot, right? And we and dated or I was with in a monogamous relationship with I was obviously attracted to this woman, and then to add the added bonus was the personality, you know, her, you know, her. Or the chemistry we had, you know, this it's a bonus. Like you don't want to get with somebody who, who's on the surface, okay, she's cool and everything, but you know, up here, she's duh duh. You know what I mean? Like it's not going to work. You just going to have sex and then that's it, or nothing. So I'm not like that. I'm saying they have to have everything for me to even have sex with them, right? Got it. Yeah, I got to be attracted. Got to be nice. At least have a nice body. And then the brain has to be there, and then that's it. And then we're good to go. If that, if all three is not there, then I can't write it, right? You know. I mean, that's yeah. That's that's your your thing, you know. Yeah. So, <clears throat> so all the women I've dated, I've been attracted to, and in, in some form or fashion, they had brains. 
That's why yeah. it lasted so long. You know what I'm saying? The yeah. ones who didn't, you know, we were just fuck buddies. We did our thing. Even the fuck buddies had brains, though, to be honest, you know? <laughs> I mean, it wasn't a relationship, but we would just have sex and we would watch a movie or whatever. You know, I never had, like, one-night stands. I've never had, like, just, you know, it's not like you have sex and not talk. You know what I'm saying? It's just you know, like, there's some women, like, you're just not going to have a future with. Right. But I just know that looks are deceiving. And most of the, just from my experiences, just from sure. my experiences, yeah, just from, from Stacy's view, yeah. That people who look good, they lack in so many areas. <laughs> they may not even have a job. They may, they could be goofy. They're probably a user. They're probably an opportunist because all they've done their whole life was use their looks. They've relied on their looks to get them for, you know, to move forward in life and to get stuff. I will so. say there's, but there's women like, like uh, Melissa Ford or this new chick I've been following on Twitter, uh, Nicole B. Like they are very beautiful and they, whether they use their beauty or not, they are entrepreneurs. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know about that yeah. theory. But I mean, well, of course, of course, you know, especially at, I'm in LA, like I see it all the time. I see, you know, uh, superficial women, you know, walking around, you know, with high, you know, with, uh, you know, name brand everything and just riding on the coattails of their face. You know, their face is their moneymaker, right? Their body is their moneymaker. They're on right. their IG models. Especially in LA. Ooh, you know what I'm Lord. saying? But how easy, how easy is it for them to turn into entrepreneurs? You know, they're using their body, they're using, their face. I mean, look at all the women on Twitch who were just in the bikinis doing ASMR or in, in the indoor pools, you know, splashing around, just talking to simps. Like it's all, and they're making lots of money. Yeah, because they have peop a team to help them get money. You know what I'm saying? But that doesn't mean that they're compatible in a relationship. Or it's just them. They don't necessarily need a team. There's just them and this. this. <laughs> no, just they this definitely have a team. Money. Yeah, what selling flat tummy tees and selling no, 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 like uh, like on Twitch, like if or or YouTube or whatever or even IG, when you have over five to ten to a hundred thousand uh, uh, subs or views or whatever, that, that's yeah, the ads start coming. You know what I'm saying? Like I know this one chick, I don't know her, but this one chick, uh, she's this white girl she did asmr she got big breasts she's very pre beautiful she used to be a stripper she just post stuff sometimes it's just her and she was talking about how advertisements are uh hard to do because you know you have a deadline you have all these things you have to do because you wrote you know you sign on the contract and it's just her you know what i'm saying so it's some of them don't have teams it's just it's just they they they're riding the coattails of their physical uh uh traits and they're getting they're getting paid for it i mean what does that do to your mind you know either you go either you're arrogant or you're thankful and you just ride the wave of not having to have a nine to five job right no i know a lot of people are making money i know and then is, is she a businesswoman or is she an entrepreneur does that make yeah. her an entrepreneur yeah 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 i, yeah, I mean i agree but that just because you're an entrepreneur doesn't mean you're compatible in a relationship. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, but it doesn't mean you're not either, though. You know what I mean? Like, she might, and then, and then the other part of that is like, okay, she makes, she, she obviously makes more money, and it's easy, right? I mean, it's easy just to go on there and, and do like a, or like a, oh, I bought here's here's a dress haul. I bought five bikinis. Let me show them off, and you get like a million views in like six months. And then and I'm you get a million dollars. And I'm an advertiser too. And I'm like, can you advertise this? Blah, blah, blah. You just keep doing hauls or like I'm a clothing company and I just give you free clothes and you just try it on and you and you rate on your YouTube, you know, and we'll pay you for that. Yeah. I mean like, I you're making more money than the average dude. So how, how does that how do you, how does that woman uh find a partner who you know this does she date the garbage man? Does she date the state worker? Or does she date an actor or another entrepreneur or Elon Musk? You know what I'm saying? Like what, you know, who does she date? I mean. A banker, just, a teller. Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> sky's, the, sky's the limit. 
anything really you could date anybody anybody can date anybody if you have money i know but she'll always have more money than the man is what i'm trying to say there's like other male like she can find likely, another- unless she finds an elon musk or that's what i'm saying like an actor or a, you know what I mean? Or Something another like male that. influencer. Another or another male, male influencer. influencer, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but or, like, or would, she, that, or... would she date somebody normal? Oh, a normal person? That could be risky. <laughs> What's the risk? What you mean? Like, she, I mean, a normal person, they could be a um, a, a, a Tinder slim. Uh, what's that guy's name? A Simon Sw- Living. <laughs> <laughs> like, or they could be like Nikki and, and her husband. Yeah. You know, yeah. just riding the waves, just, you know, just yeah. getting her pregnant. Or and- one that I think about too is Rihanna and ASAP Rocky. I mean, yeah, ASAP, he's known, but he ain't got billionaire money. So, I mean, women do date for love and fun and, you know, just somebody who makes them feel good or maybe he's probably like motivating to her like so it just depends on the woman like it's not always about you know somebody making more money than you just help me get money or be ambitious or support the empire like you know like I think women date who makes them feel good if they're a real woman because you don't need money what you need money for Who, who doesn't need money a, a, a wealthy woman <laughs> you know what i'm saying if i'm a millionaire mm-hmm. i'm not necessarily out here looking for another millionaire because i could do everything on my own i know but if i'm a guy like let's say if, okay if i'm a guy i am a guy if i'm me and i'm you're making, a millionaire guy no no, no. Um, if i'm me and i make you know i'm in the 50 to 60 range right and i date a woman who's like what in six figures right if we go out I'm still going to pay for the first meal, but I'm not going to go to Bowles. I'm not going to go to, cause I can't afford that. You know what I mean? I'm not going to go to some say Diddy place. Cause I, that's not my price range. We can go to Bossa Nova. Okay. And that's <laughs> you know way I mean? better. I've been to oh, both. <laughs> I've been to both and Bossa Nova is okay. way better than, I just is, it Bauer, is, it, is it, is it Bauer or Boa? I think it's Boa. In, in Hollywood on yeah. Sunset? Okay, okay, yeah. I've been there. Well, you know what I'm talking about, right? You you know the, the Hollywood yeah, places exactly. where you, you're going to spend like three to $500 on dinner. You know what I mean? Like, I that, I can't, that's not me. You know we what I'm saying? To, I went to Malibu, um, to Nobu and Malibu. Oh, Nobu is another one, yeah. Dude, that place is hell expensive. <laughs> yeah, I think the highest I did was took my ex to... Uh, to dinner on valentine's day or something and i spent like three i think on dinner a lot of money yeah that's a lot for me you know what i'm saying i mean for for most people you know what i'm saying even people even people even people with six figure salaries but that was a special occasion well no i mean i just i just read somewhere with uh, offset and cardi went to some restaurant and they the tip was 14 yeah fourteen hundred dollars that's crazy but it was almost more than a meal. <laughs> like that's not going to happen over here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But if I'm dating somebody who has it, but they got like, stupid how, money. So. Yeah, like how am I? How am I going to compare to that? You know, am I going to feel emasculated? And you know, is she going to respect me still? You know what I'm saying? But like I said, like oh yeah, but like I was saying, um, a person who makes six figure salary, if they're not good with their money, they probably have just the same amount of money as you. They might gross a lot of money but they probably also have a lot of expenses and a lot of bills so you guys might even out even out they might have to pay for a ten thousand dollar mortgage or you know what i'm saying you know what i mean they mm-hmm. might they might have to pay for that thousand dollar uh car pay, lease payment for the car oh, they're, yeah they're entrepreneur they gotta pay employees and stuff yeah so it's like mm-hmm. i don't know dude Property like taxes yeah. no you're right it's just you know i like like the last uh lady I dated, she made more money than me, like way more money than, than me. And I still paid for stuff and I didn't feel emasculated. And I and I was proud of her because she did everything right. I wasn't I didn't feel any sort of way. I felt kind of bad because sometimes she would want to go out to places and I just couldn't afford it. Uh 
like that. But um, other than that, like I didn't feel any other type of way. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, it, and we were on an even playing field. Like she paid for stuff, I paid for stuff. I buy her gifts, she buy me gifts. It wasn't crazy. You know, I just feel like even as a just as a man, I I just wish I could have done more, you know, but I, I don't have the money to do more. You know what I'm saying? That's the only but that's on me though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, you just gotta find the white the right. I said the white one. You just got you just gotta find <laughs> you gotta find the right one that like understands and likes you for you and that's anybody like find somebody that likes you for you like that's important but people have different goals people have different goals i need somebody to love me for me make me happy where i wanna be hey yeah, that's true that's true <laughs> you know so yeah so do you feel uh, any more questions about mixed mixedness? I just I just say this in, in conclusion that I've always identified as black. Right. The only people who probably don't see me that way would probably be other Filipinos who thought I was Filipino. But I have been, I am accepted in the black community. I say the n-word more than i probably have to i'm just kidding i'll slow down and um you know i i feel black but i am a mixed baby i am blasian i am black and these i am proud i love my mama i love my dad and um i guess i still feel like a, i still feel like a brother i'm a brother i have nappy hair <laughs> I do black music. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I identify as a Negro who just happens to be mixed. You know, I am Malcolm X. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So Yeah, I mean, we can't fit into other people's little box of what they want. Um, I mean, but I think race and race identity politics, it's all evolving. So because I mean, interracial dating and, and mixing of the races or whatever, it's fairly new. You know what I'm saying? Like everything else in America. <laughs> like, I don't know, like other countries, do they mix? Do they date they interracially? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, does a Ukrainian... Yeah, there's, there's Afro-Latinas. There's, um, yeah, Ukrainians will, will, met, will mix with Russians or Jewish or Polish or Dutch or... Uh, what's what's the other one over there? I was gonna say, um, uh, Slavic or whatever. Yeah. You know, even yeah. though they're all white, we 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 will see them as white. But they, you know, what I'm saying, all Salvadorians with Mexicans and Mexicans with Cubans and Cubans with Puerto Ricans. But Rican, but, but I think like that. I think about it. I don't know. I think globally, um, people do stay in their races though, or stay in their ethnicity. But I think that's also derived from like your parents. You know what I'm saying? And, and where you are, like, like I, I think like I think America. Parents, I think your parents have a if they really have a stronghold on you, like you will abide by them and you will find your own race because of them. Now, if you if you are your own person and and not that you don't re respect your parents, but if you if you just happen to find some you know you're an Asian girl and you just happen to find some white dude who who's good to you like you said earlier like you know what I mean like it's just gonna it's, if it clicks it clicks you know what I'm saying and you'll have to like disregard all the cultural shit that your parents wanted you to do with the traditional Asian wedding because you know you're marrying a white dude and then now. And then it's you, weird. And then if you do wear the white dude, that white dude will probably uh, do the Chinese or not Chinese, whatever Asian cultural, Asian tra yeah. traditional just to wedding. make the family happy. Yeah, yeah. like do, like like what Jewish like if a Jewish dude marries like a black girl, or whatever, like she's gonna do the whole. But that thing. won't. I don't know. I'm sure it's happened in the past. Because you know Tiffany Haddish, she was very. She did heck of bar Again, mitzvahs. Benny and bat mitzvahs and stuff like that yeah. mm -hmm. but 
um, I don't know, like, I just, I feel like ethnically and culturally, a lot of race or a lot of cultures and ethnicities like stick to their race or stick to their, their kind, their own, like interracial race mixing, whatever you want to call it is fairly new. And so I think it's still just evolving and people want us to be our own race, I guess. They, black people? Or just not even... Yeah, oh, or mixed people. Yeah, like whoever with, whoever has a problem with mixed people identifying as one thing or another. Because it's not just black and white mixed or like you, you're black and Asian. And it's not only black just mixed with something else, you know, like, you know, we were, what were we saying? Um... You know, Asians marry whites and Mexicans marry blacks, you know, or, or whites and I don't know. I'm just tired of race, to be honest. I really am so tired of it. But if they want us to be our own race, okay. But so then what do you, like, there would be just way too many categories. You know what I'm saying? Because it can't just be, you can't just say mixed race, black and white. Like you would have to, like, I'm just thinking about on the census, you know, on an official document. Like in Hawaii, if you're, if you're mixed with Asian, you're called a hapa and and it doesn't matter what, as long as you're, it's just, just Asian is there. So I'm a hapa with black, you know what I mean? Mm. And, but, you know, like you take like, I mean, what's a mulatto? Is a mulatto, a mulatto mainly like uh, you know, black and white, and then there's uh, yeah, it had, but it, you know, what's I, Cape, I don't, what's I don't Cape know Verdean? I, that's from Cape Verde. <laughs> oh, yeah. not Cape Verdean, but uh, what's the New New Orleans with French and black? Oh, Creole, Creole. Creole. Yeah, that's French and black. Yeah, I used to think I was Creole. That's what they told me. I was Native oh, American. Could've... Yeah, pass, they, for sure. Yeah, there's another one, Native American and Black. Like, what's yeah, they that's what every that? Black person thinks we are is Native American and Black because that's what we've been told our whole lives. But, um, you know, but back then, people had to be something, they couldn't say they were white, you know what I'm saying? It was like, oh, I'm Native American, it either or, yeah, because you, you know, because they were because, like, my on my grandma's side their parents her parent her dad was dark skinned her mom was definitely mixed but she was they said she was native american not white because that would have caused problems in washington you know because the interracial stuff you couldn't guess, do that i guess now like nowadays especially not especially but yeah especially with the i guess younger people uh, i do notice that you know if they are mixed they they will say whatever everything like even when the mom is mixed with something, like a tiger, yeah. Woods, like a tiger Woods would be like, "Yeah, I'm black and Thai, and my, you know, my dad's yeah. the Blaze one." You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah. Like, like I'm thinking about my niece. Represent everybody. Yeah, because I mean, like every my, that you are. So they, if people just want us to be a mixed race, like that would be really hard to. You can't just say identify as a mixed race because my mixed race is different than your mixed race. Yeah unless you want to compartmentalize all of these different but it's too much that's what i'm saying like well no you i mean yeah you just say what you are like like again if we're going to bring up the dog analogy the breed you know you just say well what kind of dog is that well you say it's a mixed breed yeah because like my brother my brother like my nieces and nephews they're black jewish hawaiian portuguese mexican and probably something else yeah, but they do not look black. Like they look other. <laughs> yeah. They absolutely. they could be whatever. <laughs> yeah. If they were if they were actors, they, they could play anything. <laughs> I would probably have them play like Indian. Really? Mm -hmm. Native Indian American or, Indian? No, like uh any oh. any in the any South Asian uh yeah, Native Native American and or uh anything latino latino yeah i could see latino but if you talk to them <laughs> definitely black <laughs> yeah but that's because their environment that could be anybody look at uh, iggy azalea oh yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? but like i'm that, just saying that's what a culture like yeah. it's it's how your your environment how you're yeah, raised that, that part don't matter 
Yeah, because like I would say, if anything, they're probably more, um, but they're not taught about race, but they're taught about who, what they are. They definitely know they're black and Hawaiian and Mexican. It'd be interesting to see them in high school. Yeah, but that's the thing. That's what I'm saying. It's like so many families are all mixed up, right? Like, and and I think a lot of people don't want still there's I mean there's a lot of people who don't care but then there's still a lot of people who think that there shouldn't be interracial marriages and dating and sure mixing yeah. you know because people want to keep their race pure just like white yeah. people white Everybody, people yeah. want to keep you know, but this is people that are like pro-white national white nationalists black nationalists let latin nationalists you know yes, people want to their- want to keep their races pure mm-hmm. and they have the right to think that way like i didn't ask to be mixed right you know i'm saying i'm i'm guilty by association yeah yeah Forced assimilation. And my, exactly and my mom didn't know she was marrying a a, a, a jewish man <laughs> she thought she was married a black man right. I mean, you're, how much <laughs> more <laughs> i thought she wanted to keep that <laughs> the I mean, what i thought you wanted to keep down on, on the dl but okay about what about the newfound uh, Jewish thing. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. So, okay. Yeah, uh, no, no, no. I ain't worried about that. But it's just, um, you know, they, it's, she didn't, you know what I'm saying? Like, sure, yeah. You talk to him, like, my dad was raised black. <laughs> sure. So it's just, it's so interesting. But like I said, I think it's important to, ask people how they identify if you want to be politically correct about it you know what i'm saying but you can't tell me i'm not black because i'm mixed what (laughs) that's weird that's weird to me people i'm sorry because i don't know and then uh, my last comment is the the one drop rule you know like if you have a little bit of black in you you're black and I, you know, I heard that growing up my whole life from different um, schools of thought or whatever. But recently I heard that it was like a negative. It came, that came from a negative place, like the white people. Yeah, that came uh, from white supremacy. Cause it's like, if you have one, if you have one drop, then you're black. Yeah, you're, you're done. So that just tells <laughs> you guys, like, like, that's just how we are seen or we were seen by white supremacy was that if you have a little bit of black in you get black they're not even gonna deal with it (laughs) like we're not gonna ask you we're not gonna figure it out you got a little bit of black you don't look aryan white blonde blue eyes Mm -hmm. you know you're black so i want to bring this up real quick and then um there's this movie called Passing, right? With Tessa Thompson. Mm, mm-hmm. It's on Netflix with yeah. uh, Tessa Thompson and Ruth Nega, right? And it's all in black and white and it's about black and white. But the director is Rebecca Hall, who herself is an actor too, but she directed this movie. I think she wrote it too, I'm not sure. Anyway, she did a 23 and me and discovered that she her mom her mom's grandma her grandma is black hmm. and rebecca hall herself does not she didn't never identify as black she lived you know caucasian in the uk yeah she lived white yeah so her mm-hmm. newfound ethnicity you know uh found you know she just found a new you know respect for our culture you know saying she's not gonna go and say the n-word or whatever you know they or or marry a black dude or whatever oh who knows but like she it's just interesting that she found that and to do this movie uh called passing you know Mm -hmm. which a lot you know which we know a lot of people I know some black people who, who can pass for white, but you know, when they grow out their hair, it's kinky, you know, you know they're black. You know what I'm saying? So I haven't watched that movie yet, but I will get around to watching it. But um, because I'm 
kind of I have to get in the mood to watch race stuff yeah <laughs> but yeah um, no I, I agree think, I just think like when you do twin theme me especially with Rebecca Hall and seeing her you know if you I don't know if it, it's, she did ancestry if you mm-hmm. see her story on on YouTube on the ancestry with Rebecca Hall she's you know she's very emotional about it and then you know and, and her talking about <laughs> doing passing it's just you know it's like a newfound culture you know what I'm saying and her her grandma I think was a, a was a dancer so she's on film you know she can see her you know what I'm saying and it's just it's a it's a it's a her story is a pretty cool story yeah um, but uh she was also Rebecca was also in Godzilla in King, versus King Kong hmm. anyway so I just thought that was interesting um it was an interesting like Kamorali situation I just thought you know like to me, I guess I guess for me as a Blasian, she would be my sister. Then. <laughs> so in, right, and then, so technically I was right. Yeah, I mean <laughs> exactly. Yeah, you guys are exactly yeah. the same thing. Karuchi's my sister. Janae Aiko's my sister. Even though you know they're Korean and and Japanese. Oh, see, you know I mean? see. A Marie is Korean and black. You know what I mean? Like I'm I'm uh, Taiwanese and black. So you know I'm not, but we still Blasian. So that's my. I guess that's my sister. <laughs> right i mean do we do that you know what i mean your I your, your sister and your your brother is lenny Kravitz. <laughs> your brother okay you, you know what i mean like you know, so i guess That's if we're gonna do it that way i was i was correct the whole time and you know yeah. i guess you if you're full black you know or if you can trace your ancestors all the way to africa and not have it split into the middle passage. Because as soon as that happens, you're no longer yeah, a sister. The, the, yeah, you're not. You're like, <laughs> sorry. Sorry. No. Yeah. The one just drop rule on a European. They could just address me as they could just address me as queen. I'm fine with that. <laughs> no, but that's probably the same Talk thing. Your shit. Talk that shit. Yeah, they, yeah. You know, they probably don't um some, I'm not gonna say all, but I, I did hear this recently, you know. People do feel some kind of way about calling non-black people sister like that's not our word it's not you know or even queen or or queen brothers and sisters i mean we grew up hearing that i mean yeah, i mean the black culture that's us and and you know but but i it might but you know what they mean a, though. it might be appropriation you know what i'm saying it but might you know but you like know that. what they mean like, and 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 that's and they took it that way too, like when I said that. So it I get what they're saying. You know, they 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 it's just like how black people took the N I G G A, you know what I mean? Like it's 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 a word that predominantly is owned by black culture. I get what they're talking about. I'm not mad at it. I'm just saying I might feel several certain kind of way because I was you know <laughs> the, the, assimilated. You in caused the, black the culture. comments. Oh, it was nuts in there. It was nuts. I loved it. <laughs> that's funny I love it. yeah but like i said i don't know like at church you call people sister and brother at church right but we're not in church. But, but yeah but i'm just saying so many people reach and you know we're saying the a on we're not saying sister i didn't say sister i even spelled it with the it's a. the same way it doesn't matter sister that's at it church does, sister, sister, Patsy. Saying, okay, sister like, i get that i get that part but they but when they spell it, they're not putting the, they're putting the er right. When you see it on the pamphlet, it's sister Stacy. It's brother Lee, right? It's not bro. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Cut it out, right? I said sister with the a, which means uh, I'm talking about uh, black people. That's what that meant. Not church. Not white, not in any whatever. It's just I've only they, gone to black churches, and that's all I've heard. Sister. Oh, well, they say it in white churches too. Brother, sister, yeah. brother, like yeah, brother Charles. That's what yes. they call my dad. They call yes. my dad brother Charles. Yes, but you, so but you, but I, you know what they're talking about. I guess. But Kamara Lee is black culture, though. So that's that's she could get the sister. I think she made think, baby fat. So. She gave y'all baby fat. <laughs> they don't care about none of that. Uh, but I don't I mean, know. Who knows who I was talking to? What age? They probably don't know what baby fat is. 
Right. That's what I'm saying. They must be young. Like that's the that's. It wasn't everybody. It, it was it was a bunch. It was a, it was all over. It was a bunch. Yeah, but for people who to not know Kamora Lee's history and like to question no, her, they her, they to question her blackness, they yes. shouldn't do that. It don't matter. She is not full black. But what did you say? What was the actual sentence? I said, um, you wanted me to read it? <laughs> okay. Because <laughs> I'm just like, what? Sister? They were like, oh, no, no. I don't know. I just really wish people would get off race. Let's get off race, you guys. Let's love. Let's, let's get money. <laughs> Let's get I money together. I think I think we're so divided and we're so the people yeah, are so because, proud of their race. I mean, which I'm so not why? Which I'm mad at. But I mean, no, it's okay to be proud of your race or whatever. But God said, made God made all of us. Period. If like, that, he, yeah, if that's what you think, but a lot of people don't think that way as well, right? These what? people think a different way. Well, okay, we all came from the same tadpole, whatever you guys want to believe. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like we all came from the same bang. But our, but our struggles we all came are different. from the same bang. Right, but our struggles are different, right? Like if you're darker skin or fairer skin or white or or Asian, like you're going to be treated right. differently in in establishments and jobs and economics yeah. and stuff like that. But that's right? because of white supremacy and and you know systematic uh, systemic racism. Right, but these people feel like a certain way, like especially darker skin, they feel like they have less advantages, right? They feel like a Kamora Lee is going to have more advantage. She's tall, she's pretty, she's mixed, she's light-skinned. She's going to have more opportunities than somebody who's maybe, uh, you know, five foot seven, darker skin, nappy hair, you know, African features, you know what I'm saying, maybe a little overweight. They're going to have less opportunities, right? I mean, if you ugly, you ugly, though. Because <laughs> I know, <laughs> listen, no, but seriously, dark-skinned women are beautiful. Absolutely. I don't, I, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't care. Like, light-skinned women are ugly, and there's ugly light-skinned women. Yeah, there's I've seen some women. ugly, ugly mixed babies or right. women. Exactly. Women so it's like, if you ugly, you ugly. If that's you, <laughs> using the eye of the beholder, you know, I don't think, I never thought Kamora Lee was attractive. Right. I she don't was, think I, here's I another one. Here's she, another one. I don't she was think a Rihanna, boss. That's what I like about yeah, her. Yeah. Here's another one. I don't think Rihanna's attractive. Yeah, I get that a lot. I get that same reaction a lot. I just don't. I mean, she's she is a beautiful woman. I feel I like disagree. It, inside and out though. Like her inside, yes. I feel like because like her, just her ambition. Yeah. Her I'm talking about her, I'm talking about surface though, right? We're her, talking about surface right now. Right, right, right. Yeah, like yeah. I mean, I don't people find her don't like her forehead. Like if you look at some of her, her um earlier, she could have a normal forehead. It don't matter. You know, just, kinda, I, just for me. You know what I mean? But she kind of looks like that one animal, like a dolphin, but not the dolphin. It's the other one. The per, uh, the what is it called? A purpose? Porpoise? A porpoise? Really? It like a little. You know what I mean? You go by the but she's still beautiful. I don't okay. know. She's popping. You tripping? Okay. <laughs> I'm, no, but I, I mean, I'm I get for you. having an opinion. No, 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 no. She's fine. I just, I just really like Rihanna. That's all. I like, I like Rihanna more than Beyonce. Okay. So okay, here's what here's what I said. I said, uh, Kamora Lee got. Okay, this is after the story, right? And the story is again that her husband went to jail for some, you know, financial Goldman Sachs whatever scheme whatever, right? Yeah, I saw that headline. I didn't. I said Kamora got. Tinder swindle. And I don't believe it's about Kamora not having any options due to her getting old. That's not the problem. The problem was thinking while what thinking white was right all right. But it's not. Content of character, not color. Y'all sisters are gonna learn apparently the hard way. That's that's what I said. And then it went uh, crazy. And we're still going crazy. Wait, they say so. You say y'all sisters. So you were talking about, but you're talking about black women. You're talking about black yeah, women. Yeah, that's I put how her I in took that it. Category. Right, and so yes. oh, so they jumped in and was like, she's dating oh, black she's men. Not, now she's, she's not dating. Black. Yeah, now she's dating a white dude because if she thought that way, thinking white was all right, but it's not. It's your content of character. It doesn't matter who you date. 
Right. The but why? But why is that even a topic? Because like, I feel like like you brought that part up to me. That's where I would have had a problem with if I were to read that comment. I'd be like, what? Black women don't get with um they white. Do. We they what don't just get with about? white men because white is all right or whatever. 100%, I mean, a hundred percent. Black women do that. Some, not all of them, but some of them. Right. Do, yes. I guess. I guess that's possible. I just. It's hard. I was saying. I guess I was trying. I guess I should have said if you do that, but to me, yeah. It, it, I mean, it, it looks like if you date. It's, again, Serena Williams. She could date black, 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 married a white dude. Kamala right. the same thing. Black, 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 married a white dude. Like, what do you? Now, what is? How does that look? You know what I mean? Yeah. It's, I'm just going about how it looks. Obviously, right, right. I don't know any of these people. I'm not exactly. in their arena. I'm a normal person. I'm just doing a podcast with my friend over here in Sacramento. That's it. Yeah. Right. No, but but I think they were trolling you because why would they even jump on that topic of, oh, she ain't a sister? Like, because Black women were in their feelings because I said sister. What forum were you on? <laughs> on YouTube. Oh, okay. Yeah, comments. Comments. I don't know, man. There's some legit debates here. It's just what, and, and to top it all off, one of them who was who was talking about sister, sister, she married, a, she's married to a white dude. Oh, the Maori twins, Tia no, and Tamara. No, 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 no. You, you didn't hear. It. Okay, the one in the comments, one mm -hmm. of the people. Oh, she's married. To yeah, she said she was married to a white dude, but she's the all the. You can't call Kamara a system, all that shit. But I'm like, okay. because she was mixed. Yeah. Interesting. I don't know. I I have heard. I've been hearing this that that argument, but yeah, I, you can't tell people how they identify. True. That part. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Like that's just what it comes down to, and that's that's the problem I have with that whole situation. Like just because I'm light skin and just because I am mixed now, <laughs> like I didn't know I was mixed for forty years, people. <laughs> but so, even with that, like if a white person was a you know grew up around white uh, black culture and black people, should he consider himself immersed in the black culture? Black, but is he is he mixed? No, he's just white. No. He don't have black in him. I mean, he could he could do that, but like, you know what I'm saying? No. Well, he can he can do it. Get away with saying that word? No, 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 no. What do you mean that, he could do what? I mean, he was that was his his culture, his environment, but he can't say he's black, right? Because he's not black. I am mixed. So you say so you mixed. Could, yeah, but I mean, I grew up with the black experience, okay, so, so that's I, that's why I, I say I'm black. That's why yeah. I say I'm black. I agree, but and I, I am black, and I'm ethnically black. <laughs> so I that's know. different. That's different. But you, but you also don't like have any respect for your Jewish side because you don't know that. Like for me, I just can't say I'm black because I respect my mom. Like right, my mom, yeah. my like you know mom. both. Yeah. Yes. Like you yeah. can say that because you don't know your other side. You're not going to say that, you know, you're going to, I mean, for added detail, you might, but for me, I, yeah, you am know, both. going to say mixed. Yeah. So like, you're definitely, you probably identify with mixed. Well, I identify with black, but I do, I say I'm mixed. Say you know what I'm saying? Mixed. Yeah. I guess I would have to start saying I'm mixed now. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Like I mean, technically, you, you technically. Yeah, because exactly. people will say, "Well, you, you, but you light skin. What? So what, what's in there?" <laughs> then you go, "Well, I'm Jewish. I just found out <laughs> through <Man. laughs> multiple sources that I am." Yeah. Here, so. And it's so crazy. Like my whole life, like in elementary school, like people would always be like, "What are you mixed with?" What do you? And this is elementary school, and I remember these conversations and kids but, coming up to me and asking like what are you what are you mixed with i'm like i'm i'm black like i would always be like that be so confused you, mix, you look mixed up yeah but i did i just i just you always knew was in there yeah but see we were told that we were black and native american and a little french 
And I found out about the little French part later. And turns out after Ancestry and me and all them whatevers, we have no Native American. And I think maybe a little French. No, I don't even think there was French. No Creole. Mm -mm. So. That's all Jewish hair. <laughs> all Jewish that's Jew that's just Jew hair right there. Jew 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 curls <laughs> okay <laughs> you guys maybe I'll rock them one day for you guys but um yeah no crazy a lot of culture race is interesting culture is interesting yeah, mixed babies are interesting you know it's it's always it's cool to see I don't know I think go, like white and black are gonna you just gonna have to You're start being like loot themselves themselves. <laughs> We're gonna have to be like pro mixed. Wait, wait, we can't do that. I don't know. Pro mixed. Pro mixed. What's what's gonna be our side? <laughs> put the M, no, put that's the, M, the white power uh, one. Isn't that the white power? Oh, is it? No, white yeah. power is this. If you put the P, yeah. yeah. But yeah. we can't do this. We can't do this. So we'll just be like. I know. Do it. Do but do, can we? I don't know. Like, can we advocate for black? We got. We got to figure this out. Situation. We gotta make our own little coalition. You know, you. How about you guys with the whiteness can do your shit, and then us with the Blasians, we could do our own shit. Mm. You know, the see, see, uh, -uh. see, that's the problem. Is hey. everybody wants to like and then, be their and then own? All the, and then all the Kamala Harris's who are mixed with black and, and Indian, they can go over there. And yeah. then, you know, and then the black and 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 the Asian. Uh, yeah. We'll come over here. So there's Blasians, 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 Black and East over here. <laughs> Mulattoes, you know, Black and White over there, and then the East Asian and Blacks over there. Wait, what's and then, and then the and then all the Miguel's, all the Miguel's yeah. can go. Okay, over. <laughs> okay. All the Black and the Latin. Latin. See, that's just already too confusing, but that's where we're going. The Afro Latinos can go over there. Yeah, we're pretty yeah, much going into that direction, though. And uh, <laughs> I heard today on something, I can't remember what I was listening to, but it was like, oh, it was on Peloton. This guy was calling out the names of the people who were logged in and shouting them out or whatever. And somebody's name was Jubian. I was like, oh, like, I was like, is that like a mix between Jewish and Nubian? I was like, I can get behind that. Jubian. <laughs> And then I was like, how did they spell that? Was it like J U B I A N? Or did they spell it? E B. Oh, yeah. Or exactly. J E W B I A N. You probably said it wrong. You probably said it wrong. It's probably some wrong. But then I was just like, that is who I am. I'm a Jubian. You're a Jubian. Jubian. You better patent that right now. Okay. I'm about to patent that. Right here on this podcast, Jubian, you heard it here first. What is today? March Jubian. 3rd. <laughs> Jubian. Yeah, Jubian Queen. Oh. <laughs> My Jubian Queen. That's hey, good. I like man. it. I like it. I wish you, man, sometimes I wish I could. I was like, <laughs> when we first found out, I was just like, I'm gonna be white for the next 40 years. I was black my first 40. I'm gonna be white for my next 40. <laughs> you didn't know. Nah. Yeah. Just jokes, guys. Just jokes. Yeah, just jokes, guys. But I, I am know. a Jubian queen. <laughs> she is, but she is Jubian. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, Jub out. <laughs> <laughs> Blazing out.